makes having a conversation about sex so difficult? I will start with that one question. Why has it been so difficult? How come we haven't talked about it? Why do you think it's so difficult? Actually, I believed the myth myself when I first was diagnosed. I believed that you, your life ends. Um, I thought I was dead. I thought that was it. I was trying to see how I was going to prepare to tell my children. But it's actually just the opposite. That's when I find, found out that I can start living on purpose and for purpose. I wasn't doing that before. If it wasn't for HIV, I probably wouldn't be the person I am right now. I want to first try to reach people to show them that, hey, there is not a face to HIV. This is it's just like me, you can't really tell. And so in order for us to break the stigma, we have to make everyone aware. And I want them to know, yes, you can. 10 years later, I'm still an executive. I grew up in church and um, as, a, as a church girl, it was stay away from me until you marry. I had half of my friends in church and half of my friends that wasn't. My friends that was not in church, it was a totally different demographic. Their parents were talking to them about sex. I think people believe that they already have the answers. They believe that it can never, never happen to them or someone in their family. I think COVID-19 has brought an awareness and if not made some changes in a lot of people's lives. I think for most people it's made them stop and realize still take the time to learn yourself and figure out where you want to go in life, figure out, you know, if the person that you're you partaking with, is that somebody that could potentially be in your life? Does it match where you're born in your life? Because those are all things I didn't think about until later on. And sex can be so much more pleasant and beautiful and much more meaningful if you have some of the key components. And make sure you show up on purpose, show up in your authenticity, be you, be okay with being you, don't try to be someone else. All of those things show up for yourself.